Living Words is an arts and literature charity. We are writers and actors, and we've been working with people who are experiencing dementia for over eight years now. Safety, shelter, touch, water, not to be laughed at or condescended to, honesty, authenticity, integrity, presence, play, joy, humour, peace, beauty, not to be bombarded with the sound of Countdown, Radio 1 and Edith Piaf all at once, all day. Communion, equality, harmony, inspiration, not to be left in a blank space alone, autonomy, choice, freedom, independence, space, spontaneity, meaning, awareness, celebration of life. Where Now was created following a nursing home residency where we were working with individuals who were experiencing a particular type of dementia that also affects their senses. I'm directing Where Now, it's a devised piece. On stage are Pippa Wildwood, who has a background in acting, Shazia Kreshi, who is a poet and has never been on stage before, and Astrid Goldsmith, who is a visual artist. On a really limited budget, we've been able to look at an immersive way for the audience within a normal theatrical setting to begin to really feel what it might be like for people experiencing dementia. We've been playing with using video cameras and prisms, using walkie-talkies to create a, a, a distance. Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? It's complicated. I've been told to sit and wait. Still feeling a bit emotional and it's been about 10 minutes since leaving. Um, I think it's a really important piece for people to see and hear and really listen to the words. I thought he was sometimes painfully honest. It was, but there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of wisdom in the play. I thought it was beautiful. I felt really moved by it. In the rehearsal room we were playing with different ways that we could enable the audience to feel dislocated, feel a little bit unsure of what's going on. I don't want this, I just want to run out of here as far as I can, go and kick something. I don't want the responsibility of being opened up to this world of feeling. I need to know where you stop and I begin. What does it really feel like? In frozen landscapes, it can apparently be hard to see or judge distances. The Inuit people have a saying, let's hear what we can see, because for them, in all the ice and snow, sound is more reliable than sight. So what about if we started saying, see what I'm saying, hear what I'm seeing, feel what I'm smelling, smell what I'm hearing, and even taste what I'm feeling? So we had um, an OHP overhead projector, which Astrid was um, using, and all our visuals were created on that. We want to create performance worth that is exciting, challenging, stands up in any arena. For the people who are experiencing dementia to really be centre stage. We don't want people to think, yeah, I know what dementia is, it's about losing your memory. Because it's not just that, and that really does simplify things. There was so much to it, it was so richly performed, um, it was so engaging for an audience. It's just exactly what you need for messages like that. Um, I just can't imagine what they could do with a bit more money and a bit more time. The performance was, was fantastic, they're doing such a great great job. What I really like about what Living Words do is they bring it to you in a way that you can understand and they sort of almost give it more meaning by the context that they put it in. And that really what we're doing is we're taking down the walls of the care home, the nursing home, the hospital and enabling people to see that it's not about other, it's about those of us with and without dementia. All their 